Santa's sleigh is on its way to my house. Written by Eric James. The moon in the night sky gives off a cool glow. The houses lie under blankets of snow. The star sprinkled sky is especially bright. Hey Santa, hey Santa, please visit tonight. The snowmen in your town stand perfectly still. Their hats and their scarves keeping out that night chill. The icicles sparkle, snow drifts through the air. The magic of Christmas is felt everywhere. The Christmas trees twinkle, the eggnog smells so sweet. The stockings are out for the gifts, not your feet. The bunting and paper chains hanging from the ceiling and give the whole household that Christmassy feeling. Excited young children with their head full of wishes, leaving mince pies and big juicy carrots on dishes. They scurry upstairs for they have heard that it is said that Santa comes once you're asleep in your bed. The yawns of children grow stronger and stronger. I don't think they can stay up much longer. All across the town in your neighborhood too. They're soon as sleeping soundly, all children but you. You stand at your window and gaze at the sky with hopes that you'll see Santa's sledge whizzing by. You almost nod off, but you see movement ahead. A flurry of white and some flashes of red. You jump up and down as the shape becomes clear. Hey Santa, hey Santa, my home's over here. But something is wrong. There are sparks everywhere. The sleigh twists and turns and it swoops through the air. You're wide awake now. You have had such a fright. There's no chance of sleep until you know he's all right. You think about Santa, his reindeer and sleigh. Oh, hey Santa, hey Santa, I hope you're okay. Yes, Santa is fine. He is down in the park, replacing the fuse in his sledge in the dark. He tugs on the reins, shouting, up, up and away, and hits the ignition, which starts up his sleigh. With magical speed only Santa possesses, he visits well over a thousand addresses. He speeds through the night, delivering toys, and visits each house without making a noise. Now Santa has been to all houses but one. He can't go home until the last house is done. It's your house, of course, but you're still awake. He circles above as he takes a small break. And that's when you see him. You know he's all right. Your head hits the pillow. You're out like a light. He lands on the roof to the sound of your snores. It's Santa, it's Santa, he's coming indoors. But, ah, you wake up and you jump to your feet. You're sure you forgot to leave Santa a treat. Will Santa leave presents for someone so rude? You must go downstairs and make sure he has food. You enter the kitchen and turn on the light, not spotting the figure who ducks out of sight. You're still half asleep, so you don't find it weird that the broom has a hat, a coat, and a beard. So you go to the cupboard and get the mince pies, and all without spotting his clever disguise. You open the fridge so you don't hear the sound of Santa who's running off into your lounge. With a plate in your hands, you head off to the tree. You're feeling so sleepy you don't even see. A sight that would have your heart to skip a beat. The curtains have sprouted two Santa-sized feet. Still sleepy, you head back to your bed with a smile. The panic is over. It's all been worthwhile. 
You climb up the staircase, not once looking back, as a chuckling Santa takes toys from his sack. Ho, ho, ho. Now Santa is leaving, his sledge races high. It sparkles and frizzles and lights up the sky. The street lights below him glow dim in the night. Hey Santa, hey Santa, please have a safe flight. So Santa is leaving your hometown behind, where children are lovely and grown-ups are kind. But then he booms loudly, his voice full of cheer. Ho, 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 children! I will see you next year.